Hey everyone, so I was asked to make a video on number six and number seven from the Newton's Second Law Word Problems uh, worksheet. All right, so these are more word problem-y and they're a little bit more difficult to understand and I completely understand uh, why you're having a little bit of trouble with this. Kind of intended, but we're gonna power through and hopefully this video will help you understand what's going on and what I'm asking. All right, so this is number six. So a car slams on their brakes and is skidding. If the force of friction acting on the 200 kilogram car during the skid is 200 newtons, what is the acceleration of the car? Okay. So let's draw an FBD for this car. Okay, so uh, this indicates the center of mass of the car. So we know that there is a force of weight acting down. There is a normal force acting up. And now we know that there is a frictional force. And there once was an applied force here, but since we stepped on the brakes, we're no longer applying a force to this car. So whatever motion is still going forward is not intended. Everything that is going back is the force of friction here. Okay, so we have the weight, we have the normal force, and we have that force of friction. So another thing that we are given in this problem is kilograms. So we have a mass of the car, so 200 kilograms here. And during the skid, um, sorry, the frictional, the force of friction acting on the 200 kilogram, kilogram car during the skid is 200 newtons. So we are given the force of friction here, just 200 newtons. And we are asked, what is the car's acceleration? So we know that A is equal to the sum of the forces over M. So if we wanted to solve for A, we would need to find the sum of the forces. So these two are equal in opposite directions, so we can just say that the sum of the forces in the y is zero, but the sum of the forces in the x is not zero, right? We see that there is a frictional force, and that frictional force is 200 newtons. In what direction? To the left. So we have negative 200 newtons there, and all divided by 200 kilograms. Okay. So if we broke out our calculator, we know that the acceleration is one meter per second squared. Okay, so that was number five. We solved for the acceleration. Now let's jump to number six. Oh, sorry, six and seven. <laughs> so using problem six, so the problem that we previously just did, if the velocity of the car at the beginning of the skid is 10 meters per second, how long will it take the car to fully stop? Okay, so this has to go back to our acceleration equation from linear motion. So A is equal to the change in V over T, where A is equal to your velocity final minus your velocity initial all over your time. And in this question, we are asked how long will it take? So we are asked for the time. So we know that our acceleration is equal to one meter per second squared and more like our deceleration, right? Because it's a frictional force, so it's slowing us down. And we also know that the velocity of the car at the beginning of the skid was 10 meters per second. So at the beginning, we know the initial velocity. So that would be 10 meters per second. And we want the car to fully stop. And if we're stopping, we're at rest, and the final velocity is zero meters per second. All right, so in order to solve for our time, we need to rearrange our lovely equation here. So let's just pull over this T and divide out this A so that we have that the change in velocity all over acceleration is equal to your time. So now we can plug in our information. So t is equal to our final velocity, which is zero, minus our initial velocity, which was 10 meters per second, all over one meter per second squared. So we get 
sorry, negative one meter per second squared. So we get that the time was 10 seconds. Okay, I hope this was helpful to you. Come to class with questions and I will see you all soon.